Aloha guys, this is Joyce from Enjoy Scrapping 2. Today I'm going to be doing some watercoloring with distress markers using this image. This is the Blended Blooms uh, from our Stampin' Up! Um, new catalog. Um, this is fun to color because it has a lot of petals. And today I will be using the Distress Markers. And the colors that I picked out is Worn Lipstick and Pickled Raspberry. But I only end up using just the Pickled Raspberry. So I stamped this out on watercolor paper using Stays On Ink. And I have my water brush. And I'm using this thin water brush. Um, but you can use the Stampin' Up! Uh, water brush if you like. And I have a paper towel here. And um, I don't know if I'm going to um, apply directly onto the paper, the marker, or use an acrylic block. And when I use an acrylic block, um, I like to put like a white piece of paper under it so that you can see the colors that you put there. So there's different um, options for you to uh, watercolor. And um, I'm going to, here's my water and um, my paper towel. And I'm going to um, start by um, putting the marker directly onto the flower petal. And um, I'm going to uh, do one petal um, at a time in, in the beginning I'll do a couple petals and then um, I'll just um, do um, multiple petals. So here I am um, going in and putting in where I want my darkest to be and then I'm going to grab my uh, water brush I mean um, paintbrush and then I'm doing circular motion and bringing out the um, color just a little bit and um, you can always um, add more colors, but you can't take it away. So um, it's good to start a little bit lighter. And um, I zoomed you in so you can see a little bit better. And um, I'm doing the second petal uh, on the inside and shading um, where the petals overlap and um, at the top where the petals fold over. And again, I'm going to grab my paintbrush and use circular motions to bring out the color a little bit. And if I have too much color on my brush, I do um, dab it off on the paper towel um, so that the colors don't all become just one color. I love to uh, watercolor because it gives it a lot more uh, softer look than um, the alcohol uh, markers. I love to color with alcohol markers too, but this gives it a little bit um, uh, like a different look than um, using um, the alcohol markers. Um, here I am doing um, more petals. Um, sorry that. I'm not um, in view. I didn't realize that I wasn't in view. Um, I'm showing you here that you can also scribble onto the um, acrylic um, block and then pick that color up and then um, color. So I picked up some color here from the acrylic block and um, decided to color this uh, petal. But then I realized that the colors uh, wasn't as um, dark as I liked using um, that way. So I ended up just going in and using the um, pen directly onto uh, the paper instead. Um, I feel like I get more, a uh, little bit more um, definition um, as far as um, the contrast in colors. So I'm using um, the markers and um, as you can see here and um, I'm shading the inside of the petal 
along with the um, edge where it's kind of folding in so then it gives like a not so it won't look like flat image I guess you can say and um, so over here again sorry um, I'm not in view um, let me go ahead and um, fast forward this okay so I'm fast forwarding this a lot so you don't have to um, sit here and watch me color the entire image um, the video would be really long so um, I'm doing the same sorry um, couldn't see I'm doing the same technique for all the flowers and here I am doing multiple flowers at a time um, putting in the color with the markers and um, using circular motions to bring out the colors um, for watercoloring I um, like to leave um, white areas so um, kind of gives it a little bit more of a different look than um, with uh, alcohol markers so I love to watercolor and Distress Inks is one of my favorites to watercolor with because it reacts really well with the water. You don't really have to do much um, to achieve that um, watercolor effect. Um, and here I am going in um, and highlighting um, more areas where I want it to be dark and pulling out just a little bit leaving some white areas I'm going to be coloring the center using seedless preserves and um, right here is the area where the inside of the flower meets the pollen I guess it's called so I like that area to be a lot darker than the rest so I keep adding more colors to achieve the look that I want. It's always um, better to have it lighter and add more color than because you can't take off the color. So I'm putting in some dots for the center and this is my coloring. So I hope you like this and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.